Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Canva video editor to create some amazing videos for your brand. Canva is one of the best programs available to create eye-catching artwork, social media posts, and other graphics for your brand or products. But not only can you design amazing images, but also access the powerful Canva online video editor to create some custom videos that can be added to any platform. Canva provides you with thousands of video templates that you can easily customize to create your videos. They have video templates available for social media posts, slideshows, YouTube outros, explainers, marketing videos, and tons of other categories as well. With the Canva video editor, you can simply select a template and edit the template by adding your own media, text, transitions, graphics, and much more. So now let's head over to Canva and go over how to create a custom video using the Canva video creator. To access Canva and to follow along, go ahead and click my link in the video description to be taken directly to the video templates. But if you prefer not to use the link, let's go over how to get to the video templates from the Canva homepage. To check out the video templates, let's go up to the search bar here and type in video. From the drop down menu, you should see the video option with the little video camera icon beside it. Let's click that now. This will take you to the video templates page where you can view tons of different templates that you can use to create your custom video. As you can see here, Canva currently has over 8,000 templates available. With so many templates, they'll have one for pretty much any style of video that you're trying to create. If you wanted to narrow down the search results a bit, you can use the menu on the left hand side to sort the videos by style, theme, or color. Also, if you wanted to start with a blank video template, you could select the first option here. This is good for more advanced video creators, but if you're a beginner, I recommend starting out with a template. So go ahead and take your time and browse through all the various templates and see what all Canva has to offer. Keep in mind that all of the templates are fully customizable and you can change anything that you like. Canva does have some free video templates, but to access all the templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. Also, if you hover your mouse over any of the templates, you can get a preview of what the video will look like. So as an example, let's select this template here and create a custom video for my brand. Once you select a template, you'll be taken to the Canva video editor. Here's where you can fully customize the video template and change any of the elements that you wish. If you wanted to change your template, you could go to the templates tab from the menu on the left hand side here. Here you can search for and browse through all the video templates on Canva. But I'm just going to stick with this template, so let's start by customizing my text. To change any of the text on your template, simply select it, then type in whatever you want it to say. If you wanted to change the color of your text, simply highlight the text that you want to change, then click the text color icon from the menu up top here. You'll then be able to select any color that you wish from the colors menu. To move your text or any other element, simply click it and drag it to your desired location. Also, go ahead and delete any of the elements that you're not going to use and change the other text on the template as well. If you wanted to move a group of elements at the same time, simply click and drag your mouse to select all the elements you want to move, then drag them wherever you wish on your template. Now that I have some room, let's move my main text over to the left hand side here. You can also move or rearrange any of the other elements that you decided to keep on your template as well. If you had your own images that you want to upload to your video, you can do that easily by going to the Uploads tab on the left hand side here. Simply click the Upload Media button and you can upload your own images, graphics, and even videos. For now, let's just upload my Quantum Designs logo. Once your image finishes uploading, you can simply drag it or click it to add it to your template. Once on your template, your image can be resized and arranged as needed. I think I'll put my Quantum Designs logo up in the top corner here. There we go. The next thing I think I'll update on my template is the background. Let's see if we can find something that better matches my brand. If you go to the Elements tab on the left hand side here, you can search the Canva library for tons of images, graphics, shapes and lines, videos, and much more. Simply go up to the search bar here and type in whatever you're looking for. If I type in red background for example, you'll see all sorts of images come up in the search results related to that keyword. Currently, we're viewing all the results, but since I'm only looking for a background, let's click the Photos tab up top here. Now my search results should only show photos which can be used as my background. So take your time and browse through the results and find an image you think will work well for your video background. 
Canva has some free images, but to access the entire Canva library, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So once you find an image you wanna use, simply click it and drag it over to replace your background. There we go. I think that looks much better. If you need to edit your background, simply select it and you'll see the editing menu pop up up top here. From here, you can edit your background in multiple ways including cropping it or flipping it. I think this is starting to look pretty cool, but let's see what else we can do with my text here. If I select my text, we should see the editing menu come up up top. If you wanted to change your font, simply use the drop down menu here. You can then select from dozens of different fonts that are available on Canva. Take your time and go through various fonts and see which one best matches your brand or the style of video that you're trying to create. I'm just going to go with the Anton font here. Another cool tab in the menu up top here is the effects tab. Here's where you can add all sorts of cool effects to your text to help it stand out in your video. This includes several different effects such as a shadow, a lift, the outline, a neon glow, and others. If you look down at the bottom, you can also curve your text by using the shape effect. For my text, I think I'm going to add a shadow. When you select an effect, you'll see another menu pop up with various options. Here you can adjust the effect to get it exactly the way you want. Not bad. I think this shadow helps my text stand out a lot more, especially against that red part of the background. I think my template's starting to look pretty good, but now it's time to change out the video. Let's start by uploading the video that we want to add to the template. To do this, let's look over at the menu on the left hand side and click on the uploads tab. You can then click the upload media button and find the video or videos that you want to upload. For my video clip, I'm going to add a mock-up of someone wearing the product that I'm offering in my store. But feel free to upload anything that you wish depending on the type of video that you're creating. Once your video finishes uploading, you can then drag it over to the top of the other video to replace it. And voila, my new video has been added to my template. With the video selected, you'll be able to see the video editing menu up top here. So let's click the trim icon here and select only the part of the video that I want to show. With the slider tool here, slide each side of the video until you get only the part of the clip that you want to display in your video. You can also see the length of the video clip that you're selecting. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click on done. And there we have it. I think that'll work well for the first slide of my video. If you like, you can definitely just roll with one slide, but for demonstration purposes, let's go over how to add another slide to my project. After you've created the first slot, the rest of the slots are typically pretty easy. That's because to stick with the same theme, the other slots typically have the same background, font, and other elements. With this as the case, we can simply go down to the bottom here, right click the template, then click on duplicate page. This will add another slot to your video template that's exactly the same as the first. Instead of reinventing the wheel, we can simply edit this to create our second slot. If you're a more advanced video creator, you can also click here to add a blank scene to your template. But once you duplicate your first scene, you can then change your text, move your elements around, and make any other changes that you want. Now that I've edited my second scene, let's go over how to add a video frame and a new video. To check out the video frames on Canva, let's head over to the Elements tab. As you can see, Canva has tons of different types of elements that you can add to your template. If you keep scrolling down, you should get to a section that says frames. Let's click on view all and check out all the different frames on Canva. Canva has tons of different frames in various shapes and sizes. When you add a frame to your template, you can put a video inside the frame creating a really cool effect. So as an example, let's select this frame here for my video. Once you add the frame to your template, you can then resize it and move it around as needed. If you wanted to move your frame or any other element to the front or the back of your template, you can select it, then go up to the position tab up top here. This will allow you to move your element in front of or behind your other elements. So now that my video frame is not blocking some of my text, let's go over how to add a video to the frame. First, let's head over to the uploads tab and upload the video that we want to add. For this scene, I'm just going to use another video mockup of one of my products. Once your video finishes uploading, simply click it and drag it over to the center of the frame. And voila, my second scene now has a framed video. So let's edit the video by selecting it, clicking the clip edit icon up top here, and using the slider bar here to select the part of the video clip that we want to use. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on done. So I think that'll work for my second scene. 
If you needed to delete a scene, simply go down to the bottom here, right click the scene, then select the delete page option. So next, let's create another scene by duplicating my first scene again. You can also easily rearrange your scenes by clicking them and dragging them down at the bottom. So now let's create my third scene. First, let's delete all the elements that I'm not gonna use and update the text. There we go. This time, let's add and animate an image of one of my products. To do this, I'm simply gonna go to my product sales page, copy the image and upload it to my Canva project. I can now click the image to add it to my template. So here's a nice image of one of my products, but we need to remove this white background. Luckily, Canva Pro users can access the Canva background remover tool. If you select your image, then go up to the edit image button from the menu up top here. Another menu will pop up where you can access the background remover. Simply click the button and Canva will automatically remove the background from your image. If there are parts of your image that you need to erase or restore, you can use the options on the left hand side here. Once you're finished, go down to the bottom and click apply. Now that my background has been removed, I can now rearrange and resize my image as needed. Now that I've added my image and removed the background, let's go over how to animate the graphic. With the image selected, you should see the animate option at the menu up top here. Here's where you can go to add a cool animation to any of the elements on your template. If you wanted to animate all the elements on the entire page at the same time, you could select the page animations option. But since we're using a video template, it already has page animations, so let's just use the photo animations option to animate the photo I just added. As you can see, they have several different cool animations that you can add to your photo. To preview how an animation will look, simply hover your mouse over the one you want to see. So let's just go with the photo zoom animation. There we go. I think that'll work well for my third scene. So I have two scenes using mock-up videos, another scene using a mock-up image. So let's add one more scene showing an example of how to upload your own videos that you film yourself. So let's duplicate this scene and let's change the text and delete some of the elements. Duplicating scenes makes it much easier to create videos fast. As a quick note, if you wanted your video to fill the entire screen, simply drag it over as your background. But for my video, I think I'll use another frame. Let's just add this frame here, then go up to the uploads tab to upload my video. Once my video finishes uploading, I can simply drag it over to my frame. So if you don't want to use a mockup, you could also film yourself and use it in your video. And if you select your video, you can also crop it by using the crop option at the menu up top here to get it exactly right. So for my video, I currently have four different scenes. I think that's all the scenes I'm going to create. But in between the scenes, we need to add some transitions. If you look between each of your scenes down at the bottom here, you should see a little plus icon in between them. This is what you click to open up the transitions menu and add a transition in between the two scenes. If you hover your mouse over a transition, you can see how it looks from the preview on the right hand side. They have several cool transitions to choose from, so go ahead and select transitions for each of your scenes. So now my video has multiple scenes with multiple video clips, several elements, and even transitions. But before we export, the last thing I want to add to my video is some music. If you click the music icon here on the left, you can access the Canva music library with tons of different soundtracks that you can add to your template. They have some free tracks available, but to access all the tracks, you'll need a Canva Pro account. Music is a great way to make your video more engaging and to grab people's attention. If you wanted to preview any of the music, simply click the play button beside the track. So for my video, let's just go with this track here. If you're using a video template, it may already have music added, but this can be removed by simply right clicking it, then clicking delete. You can then use the audio menu at the bottom here to drag your audio clip to make it start and stop wherever you like. Also, if you go up to the audio effects option up here, you can also fade your track in and fade it out based on the number of seconds. So finally, I think my video finally has everything I want to add and is ready to be exported. To download your video, go ahead and click the share button at the top right here. You can then select the download option from the drop down menu. This will open up the download menu where you can select your export settings. Under file type, make sure you have MP3 video selected. Under select pages, you can select the scenes you want to download, but to download our entire video, let's select all. Once everything looks good, 
go ahead and click the download button. Your new video will then start processing and once it's finished, it'll be downloaded to your device. So without further ado, let's open up my new video and see how it looks. Not bad. I think that would work well to grab some attention on social media. With my video downloaded, I can now take it and share it to all of my social media pages. When I share my video, I like to include a description and of course a link to my brand page or products. Using videos is a great way to increase your page engagement, grow your audience, explain about your brand or products, or even for running paid ad campaigns. But whatever you wanna use your video for, Canva provides you with the tools to get the job done. So that's a quick example of how to use the Canva video editor to create some awesome videos. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.